to uh, another update type of video. Obviously, there is only the current team of the season in packs, but I did finish all of these packs. I'm not going to open any pack that has, um, I'm going to say 84 or over right now, like 84 plus rated uh, stuff because I want to save that for uh, the Premier League team of the season so right now we finished um the daily upgrade and we also completed the live as well <coughs> we're also not going to open the guaranteed team of the season because if we save it it will have the prem team of the season in there i hope so so yeah we're not going to open any big pack like that even to the point where i'm not going to open um i will complete it i haven't completed it yet I will complete the eighty, the double eighty six, but we're not gonna open that. We're saving that for the prem. We're just gonna start saving for prem team of the seasons. We're still gonna open packs. And I know I said I wouldn't save packs for certain stuff, but mainly because of how how bad the pull weight is on these really really good team of the seasons from this promo. I'd rather not open it because I already have all the bad ones. I've packed 20 Team of the Seasons already. I know you guys haven't seen 20, but I've packed over 20 that I just haven't I haven't recorded. I think I've recorded about 16 of them, but I have over 20 pulled, but none of them that are 91+. plus. I've yet to pack a Team of the Season 91+. plus. So that's why I just, I, I'm, I'm still going to grind. I will open exchange packs. I will grind exchange packs, but the packs that are 84 plus rated, I'm going to save for Premier League. And hopefully we get a team of the season tomorrow, you know, sometime soon. I should be making player picks out of these, but I don't feel like it right now. Um, yeah. I know it's probably really dumb to save for team of the season, but for the Prem team of the season, but I just... I. I I just think it's necessary for me at this point because I feel like I'm just wasting the high rated packs because getting a blue during that time is going to be so much more fun and insane. So yeah, we're also going to do exchanges. But yeah, so far, I'm, let me know what you guys think. I, I kind of think I'm being a bit of a hater. I don't know if this... I don't, I, you genuinely, genuinely don't know if team of the season is even like a five out of 10 right now. Like it might, for me, team of the season so far might even be like a, like a three out of 10 of a promo. Like mainly because I feel like there's not enough cards in, in packs for it to be like team of the season because usually in team of the season, man, we have so many and I mean so many impact like cards and packs it's insane like we have you usually we would have hundreds of cards and packs but not right now don't I don't know what they're cooking at EAFC we're gonna use that to complete this 86 double but yeah I mean it's just it's it's not been good, man. The team of season has not been good. Let me know what you guys feel about it. I just, I, I, I'm in a very high opinion of like this team of the season has not been good. I think, I think EA could do a lot better. They've also proven to us that they could do a lot better in other promos and better promos. Like they genuinely have proved to us that they could do so much better than this. And right now they just don't care like i feel like they just don't care i don't know how that's a thing that they just don't care but they've quite clearly proven that they could care less about how they run this game because all they care about is the store section we get st we get updated store packs almost every six hours and you're telling me you can't spend 24 hours in a day to make your game semi-decent? Like, just semi-decent would be, you know, would up just a little bit. 
and we would start comp we would stop complaining as much as we do if the game was semi playable like i've i have played all of champs the game is not fun the game is not fun like the inconsistencies i i pass the ball it doesn't go where i pass i i red time a shot it goes in i green time a shot that's easier to score than the one I just read time. The green time goes mile that way. How does that make sense? So you're telling me if I have a less accurate shot, there's more likely of it to go in. The less accurate my shot is, and the more I read time it, the easier it is for it to go in. Makes no sense. And then you have these try hard players that just run down the byline. Or even worse, I played a guy this champs. I sc I scored, and I was battering them the whole. Why did we get a team of the season? It's gonna be it's gonna be okay. Never mind. I th I believe this is a tradable team of the season, so we take those. We'll definitely take a tradable team of the season. But I played a guy. He score. I scored. I was battering the whole game, but I couldn't get a second. And I guess that's on me that I couldn't get a second, right? This man... Uh, this man scores a goal in like the 40th minute. I've had like 10 shots at him. And his... I, I believe it was Casillas. Was saving everything. He scored that goal, he left. So instead of just leaving when I was winning and he was getting battered. He waited until he got one lucky shot. Scored... And that's when he decides to leave. That's what this community is. And this is why this community is bullshit, in my opinion. But it's whatever. It's whatever. Like, hopefully, hopefully EA can save this team of the season. Because I think this is how footy started, in my opinion, last year. Like, footies was terrible for the first, like, first three footies teams the the what they were doing was god awful but they saved it they really did like at the end they made footies really fun and we were playing footies up until the very last second we were playing footies and i think i think ea the way ea saved team of the season in my opinion Actually, I'll do that as tomorrow's video, how EA can save Team of the Season. Because depending on what they do tomorrow is whether they can save it or not. So, two things they can do tomorrow. They introduce a Team of the Week, like the best of Team of the Week, into packs. Or they introduce some type of best of into packs. Or, we get one of the minor leagues tomorrow. And EA just set a precedent that, ooh, we gotta walk out. That's nice. But... EA set a precedent that every Wednesday is a minor league, right? Even though it's supposed to be every Monday, I get it. Champs was extended. Everything was like champs was extended to today, so it wouldn't have been. It would be unfair for people to people that finish now to get a chance as those cards, and the people that finished Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday don't get a chance. At like say the Eredivisie that's supposed to be released, I'm pretty sure should be, and they were like, they're like, okay, this is why we can't do that. Acceptable. That's perfectly fine. But I think we need minor team of the seasons. We need a best of team of the week, and they just need. That's it. I mean, those are the two things we need, and we're set. Right, we're set. We're 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 golden. We're cooking. We're cooking. That's all EA need to make this game elite. Are they capable of doing it? Is a question on its own. I don't think they are. Right. I I don't think. I mean, obviously they've proven it to us multiple times, and a lot that they don't learn from their mistakes. Right. They're made still. They're made, like ever since team of the year, I think a lot of a lot of content creators voice their idea of, hey, 
we don't like promo packs. Hey, we want this game to be better. Hey, do this, do that, and quite clearly, EA don't give a shit. They've they've made packs more expensive. They have, in my opinion, made the gameplay worse than it was when it started by nerfing finesse shots, by nerfing the Travella, and stuff like that. Obviously, you need to fix those things because they were game-breaking. But at least there was a bit of creativity, you know? It wasn't like, oh, every opponent I ever play is going to run down the byline, you know? So, like, the way I played, I would, I would just get that finesse shot. Like, if I knew I was struggling against a guy and he was a little bit better than me, I'd go for that finesse shot every single time. Every single time, I'd go for that finesse shot. But also, me going for that finesse shot so much, put in my opponent's head, oh, he's going for that finesse shot. They would mark the finesse shot, and guess what? I could I could pass it across Travella, right? So th there's two scoring options there. Then, then that, and then even if that wasn't there, I could at least square it back to one of my midfielders. I can't do that anymore. They're marked. They're all marked. All the time. So the only option I have is to take the one-on-one -on -one with the left back, right back, or the midfielder, or anything. I just gotta take that one-on-one. -on -one. If I get past him, pass it across. That's all, that's all I can do. And it, it just doesn't make for fun gameplay. It doesn't even make for a fun experience. Like, oh my. Seven men behind seven men behind the ball. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? They never they never fixed the 71 depth, even though that they say they did. It doesn't feel like it's been fixed. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm sorry for complaining so much.